this week's My Boat feature. Whether through age or corrosion, or in this case not being winterized properly, you might have to replace the hot water heater on your boat. So this week on My Boat, we're going to show you how to do just that. Now the challenge that a lot of people face is access of their hot water heater location. First step is to always give yourself as much room to work as you can. So out goes the ladder and the toolbox. Even with a good deal of room, access remains the obstacle on this boat with a custom-made shelving unit bolted over top of the old water heater. In this case, it takes some time and long arms to undo everything without dropping any parts in the bilge, but with a little bit of patience, it all comes off easily enough. So as you can see, I didn't lie to you. Even when it seems obvious, accessing them can be a bit of a challenge, but we've cleared everything out of the way. Now we move on to disconnecting the power and the water and getting this old one out of here. With everything free and clear, we're set to work. Step one, make sure the power and water are turned off and the tank is drained. Then remove the panel to access and disconnect the wiring. In this case, that's best done simply by cutting them where they were crimped together. Pull the wires clear of the old unit and remove the water connections by unscrewing them. This heater is screwed down at the back, tricky to get to, but you can work around that with a camera, a mirror, or your phone if need be. It's a bonus if you can turn the light on. Last step before pulling out the old unit is to check to see if there's any other connections. In this case, a ground wire has been connected to the back corner, so we'll just unscrew that, then we can carefully remove the old unit. I'm just going to pause when we're taking out to show you. This is exactly why you'd have to be meticulous when you winterize your boat and get the water out of everything. This stainless steel tank here had some water in it. The power of ice burst it right open. Because of the winterization failings and water issues, not only did the tank burst, but some of the fittings were tighter than usual. It took some extra time and a vise, but we got everything apart, so now we can start prepping the new unit to be installed. First, make sure any plastic wrapping that may be on it is removed and coat the pipe or hose fittings with Teflon tape to ensure a watertight seal. Since we already have the ground wire in place for the back corner of the old unit, We'll drill a hole in the corner to make room for it to be secured in the same spot on the new one. Ideally, the new heater is the same size and has the same access points as your old one to make the install simple. In this case, it's a little larger, but everything else is the same. That means we have to do a little adjusting of some of the other nearby equipment, but nothing too drastic. Next comes the wiring. Strip the ends of the wires you cut from the old heater, add connectors, and Connect the wires together, sealing with a crimp splice and electrical tape. Connect the power and the ground, and secure the cover to the electrical access. The setup in this boat has a custom-designed piping with a bypass, making the reconnection of plumbing trickier than it should have been, but some trial and error and we got it back together easy enough. Get them as tight as you can, but don't strip or crack anything in the process. With the plumbing and electrical all hooked up, you can now secure the unit back to the boat. Here, that means a few screws at the front. Test it first by turning the water back on and looking for leaks. If there's none, turn the power back on. There'll be some air in the pipes at first, so just run through and you're set. So there you have it, we have no leaks, the power's back on, and we have hot water again. Overall, this is about a three out of five in terms of difficulty, and if you're gonna do a project like this, budget at least half a day, because as we found out, sometimes the most challenging part about putting in a hot water heater is just getting to them. They can be pretty tricky to reach.